One of the most difficult parts of being a new parent is trying to decipher what your baby is trying to tell you when it cries. A common problem is ear infections, and if your child has had several of them, there are other options instead of antibiotics. That's the focus of tonight's Power to the Patient report. Pain and extreme fussiness. A lot of times the kids aren't sleeping at all at night. It can be just as painful for the parent as for the child. Trying to comfort a baby with an ear infection is difficult. Lisa Olson knows firsthand. It is hard because they can't tell you what to do and you don't know how to how to help them. After several trips to her pediatrician and months of antibiotics, Lisa asked if there was any other way to treat her daughter Emily, who was just 18 months old at the time. That's when she was referred to Dr. Dvorak. When that happens repetitively, uh, there is something we can do about it, and that's, that's putting tubes in their ears. I was very unfamiliar with what the options were um, regarding tubes. She soon learned that there are several different types and sizes, but all serve the same purpose, to equalize the pressure and eliminate fluid behind the eardrum. Emily received her tubes. They've already fallen out on their own. And just last week, nine-month-old Brayden got his. We use a, a microscope, uh, clean out any wax that's in there, make a little slit in the eardrum, suction out any fluid that's in there, which makes their hearing somewhat better right away, and then put a little bobbin-shaped tube in there. The process only takes about 10 minutes. There are no IVs, only a mask that delivers a sedative. Once they wake up, the relief is instant. It's about like sticking your fingers in your ears to have fluid behind your eardrums, so it's, it really muffles the sounds. Here are the kids. For Emily, that meant better speech, and Lisa says even improved hearing. For Brayden, he's now sleeping through the night, and if he has an ear infection, it will drain out on its own or can be treated with some eardrops instead of antibiotics. I wish I knew as a mom with Emily what I know now with Brayden, with the options with getting tubes, and that there are other options than just antibiotics all the time. And as a parent, I think I waited longer with Emily because I didn't know what the options were. Babies and toddlers will usually need to have experienced around five ear infections in a year or less to be considered for ear tubes. They also should be about six months old or older. For more information on this and all of our Power to the Patient reports, visit the marketplace at WQAD.com.